All right, you can go. Go, go, go. Okay. Yeah. So, decisions. It's... There's, there's no way that every single decision you'll make is going to be right. It's just impossible. Considering we're not all-knowing beings with future sight. Right. And, yeah, like, a lot of the decisions that happened with you ended up seemingly, like, really horrible. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not gonna deny that, like, a lot of the circumstances and... Uh, end results were terrible because I, I don't want you to have needed to go to the hospital or freak out and all these things but right. like I don't think you deliberately put yourself there oh. no not deliberately deliberately is the key word like ah damn it <laughs> we always berate ourselves for not knowing ahead of time what to do. Like, right. if I had just done this, if I had just known to do that, why am I so stupid that I made the dis this decision? Right. But what I think happens with other people, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say normal people, but other people that aren't like us, what happens with them is that they make a mistake and they say, oh well, I won't do it again. And we just can't let ourselves do that. I think that's what happens. Or, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. At least that's what my counselor said. <laughs> <laughs> they can't... It's like, they, when people make mistakes, they don't dwell on it. And for some reason, we do. And I don't know how to turn it off. So, what I'm gonna do is tell you what I can't tell myself, that... It's not your fault that these decisions led to terrible events. I mean, like, I didn't know I was gonna get, like, essentially fired on the radio. Yeah, there's no way I you could... could have known that, and you, there's no way you could have known that telling the truth was going to screw you over. Right. There's no way you could have known that all these things happened. Right. And another thing about, like, depression and anxiety and self-worth issues and all those wonderful things is that when it's happening, you don't see it. Right. Like, Absolutely. Here, we have this clarity because we're talking back and forth. Right. But in the time when you're thinking, oh, I'm such a terrible person, oh, this is so terrible, we don't think, this is the, the depression talking, but I'm going to let it happen anyway. That's not what happens. No. It's not generally. Gen I've done that a few times. Yeah, like, I can, I it's the rare that. occasion where you're like, I should stop this, but then you're like, nope, gotta keep going. Yeah, I, yeah. But most of the time, it's, you think these things, and you think it's true. You think it's literally the facts of the world. Like, right. everyone hates me, it would be so much better if I just flung myself out the window. Right. I will just remove myself from the world before anyone else beats me to it. It's right. better for everyone this way. And I don't right. really, like, there, there's no, like self-awareness when you're thinking this. Correct. So the, the one almost suicide attempt I had, yeah, I can yeah. <laughs> it's it you, really you're not is, thinking like, of it. It's just this is gonna be better. I know it is. <laughs> right. And right. um so that's why like you said I should have took better care of myself. Right. That's not something you're capable of when you get in that position. And, like, what we work on is, like, developing habits to realize when we're starting down that way. Right. So that, like, when I have, like, anxiety about, like, my lab meetings, everyone's really loud in the lab meetings. And it, like, really sets off social anxiety and, like, start digging my nails into my skin, that wonderful things. Oh, God, I hate that. And, that's, like... That's a... That's a I, don't, I don't dig my nails in. I, like, pinch it and pull it out. Yeah, like, I dig my fingernails into my scalp because then it's, like... It's kind of like I'm holding my head, but... So no one will notice. <laughs> so you and I are smart about our self-torture, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. We're not self-aware about, like, the context, but we are self-aware about that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If someone sees, they're gonna try and stop me, but I know this is for the best, so... Um... They're only gonna try and stop out of obligation, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. 
So, like, the lab meetings are really terrible for me. And, like, recently I've, like, gotten to the point where it's like, okay, this is not sustainable. I need to realize when I'm getting to this point so that I can leave. Like, if it starts to get to that point, I just need to leave the, the room and cool off. Because if I force myself to stay and, like, get into the full-blown, oh god, everything's terrible kind of thing, then, then, uh, I won't be able to allow myself to leave because it's, it gets into the point where it's like, I have to stay, I can't leave, it's my right. duty, it's my obligation, it's my, it's what I have to do, everyone's counting on me, stop freaking out, you're ruining everything. Right, yeah. So, <laughs> if I let it get to that point, I won't be able to let myself leave. So, the coping mechanisms are trying to, that was cool, trying was, to realize... Because I don't know how to cope with that. <laughs> but I'm shank. Yeah. <laughs> trying to realize when you're going that way to divert yourself. Right. The goal is to and never you know, reach that point. Right. And it's funny, too, because this actually happened with the karaoke thing mm -hmm. on Tuesday. Um, is that... Um, <coughs> is that I actually hit a point where I was like, okay, at this point I need to leave. Not because I'm not having fun anymore, but because I hit, like, a sensory level where I was mm -hmm. like... Yes, I, I literally take it in as much as I can take. And if I stay much longer, then it's not going to be good. And, uh... Yeah, so I'm... that's the... God damn it! That's the, uh... Set of skills that we end up trying to develop. Is the, I need to leave, otherwise this is going to get really bad. Right. You know, and like I said, like, on deliveries, okay? If I need to not have my music on... Okay, fair. Like, if sometimes, you know, and I've established with my managers, if sometimes I need to take a few minutes or whatever to recompose myself, mm -hmm. then yeah, like, so I'm at a, I'm at a really sweet job right yeah. now in regards to... Really great manager there. And yeah. so winding back to that topic, when you say, I should have took better care of myself, like at McDonald's, you're situation wasn't letting you realize when this is happening and then taking a break. They weren't letting you do that. Right. And even if I did know when to take one, I it, couldn't. You couldn't. Or I... Yeah. So, I was, like... It, or it was very, very difficult, too. Yeah, so but. they made it hard, so it's just easier. Like, it's also really hard for us to know when to stop because it's just so easy just to let it happen. Right. Like... It's like a habit, and fighting the habit takes, like, physical effort to stop. Yep. And it's just so easy to go back to hating yourself. Like, it's just so easy. Just let me do it. Just let me do it. <laughs> yeah. So, when they make it really difficult to take care of yourself, it's just easy to say, well, fuck it. <laughs> right. And when I see that others aren't being taken care of. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Like, even at this job, like... I can see that, like, ah. you know, that they try to take care of one another. Mm -hmm. Whereas at McDonald's, it was very, very clear that... Nope. You gotta work or you're not. out. Right. It's... You know, and I... Even when I left, like, I still don't think I would have made that magical checklist of... They were like, yeah, you're gonna eventually work up to be a crew trainer. But then by that point, I was like, I haven't seen the management process work, so, uh, rip that. Mm, like, nope. Yeah. yeah. So, like, the whole point of it is, yeah, it feels like it's your fault, but they didn't really allow you to take charge of that part. Right. So, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So maybe decisions you made it ultimately ended up leading to these terrible decisions, uh, results, but they didn't let you take any other paths once you initially made the decision. Correct. Which you didn't have any ability to know at the time. Correct. That's what I meant. <laughs> gotcha. So. Okay. So maybe Jimmy Johns is like a really great stepping stone to help you get back to that point. Right, that's how I initially saw it, until yeah. all this mess of the store closing and me being miserable and... Well, like, 
I think we are meaning stepping stones in different ways. Like, you wanted it to be, like, really temporary. Or something. And, uh... I mean, like, you stay there as long as you ha as you need to. And no rush moving on. Because it's a great place, from what I hear. Yeah. Really supportive of what you need, etc. Right. So. Yeah. Maybe, like, I guess my thinking is, like, if, like... Like, by taking the extra days, I did kind of forego my social life a little bit, but if I can do social life in other ways, while still... I don't know. Yeah, you know... <laughs> wow, that's a new one. Yeah. At least I'm well, getting like, creative. Like, okay, like, I'm back to this point where I'm starting to, like, justify, like, my decision. Mm-hmm. This is the this is the point in the past couple of days I've always been coming back to. It's like trying to justify why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I just hope to God I don't get convinced off it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also okay to realize that you might be easily convinced because it's a hard decision to make. And right. to not want to have anyone sway that is, you know, fair. Right. It's realizing your capabilities and trying to accommodate them. Like when I right. realize I can't sit through a lab meeting when they're being so loud and needing to leave. It's accommodating what I can handle. Right. Um, yes. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention was uh, <clears throat> I talked about this with my counselor. Uh, I, told, I told her about these things we do, and she said that it was really awesome that we do this. The hoo hoo hoo, okay, that we do this because it's like a coping mechanism. Because I had yeah, mentioned absolutely. that, um, like, after a couple weeks where we understandably were busy and sick and couldn't right. do it, I was, like, feeling kind of shitty again. And, like, I really wanted to come back and play more video games with Nicole because I wanted to have a feeling jam with you because you understand <laughs> me and all that <laughs> you understand me. and uh the other and thing I still think it's kind of creepy we have similar physical characteristics but <laughs> and... also the other thing I mentioned to her was um ah ha 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 yeah I saw it uh was that like Initially, when we started doing this, it kind of felt like it was just sort of like a duct tape solution. Like, we were just kind of holding it together with something kind of flimsy or something. Yeah. But, like, as this series has progressed, I feel like it's a little more than that. Because I do feel better about everything once we started doing this. And, like, it just took longer than I expected. Like, are we talking, like, we're talking, like back in the day, right? Yeah, so like um like I just wanted to make sure because I get kind of I get uber specific sometimes so I'm like I mean uh I'm just beginning of Super Mario World, but no, I think you're talking about further. Like, well, I mean like, you know, talking about our feelings and our days and like then eventually progressing to talking about depression and the struggles we have. Like um we've been doing it a while and at the start it, it felt kind of like, you know, a temporary solution duct tape, not very good, not very right. sturdy. But what? now it feels like... Aw. <laughs> it feels more like, um... Because I feel like <laughs> there was... <coughs> Wheeze. Wheeze. Okay. The, um... What am I trying to say? That it's actually changing things for me, in a way. Like, um... Sometimes I'll think, what would Nicole say to me if I if I had this <laughs> thing going on? And or like um, being able to talk about what's going on in this kind of forum where you understand what what it is and you won't say, oh, that's silly. Like right. I talk to people who don't have this kind of depression and they're like, oh, no, 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 don't think that. That's so silly. Why would you ever think that? You know, and then I'm like, OK, I'm never going to tell you this again because you think it's silly. And I know that it's is, silly. I don't need you to tell me that. 
That's probably the number. I do not consider myself an angry person, but if you want to piss me off, that's probably the number one way to do it. Yeah. Is have me open up to you, then be like, have you be like, ah, it's not that big of a deal. Whee. Like, I simultaneously <laughs> understand. I don't understand what the fuck, bro. <laughs> like, like, I understand what they think they're doing, you know, trying to dissuade right. yeah. the paranoia and stuff, but it's like, I know it's silly. I know it's stupid. That's not what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> what I'm right. trying to tell it's you like... is that this exists in my life, and I need you to accept that. Right. And, and it was because, like, on that Tuesday, like, when I went home, like, the, the guy who I had the conversation with the night before, like, gave me the bootstraps talk. Yeah. Oh, like, you have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps or whatever. And, like, in that moment, like, that is not even close to what I wanted to hear. Like, yeah. I mean, he couldn't have known, but, like... Well, like, some people are like, just think happy thoughts, and it's like, yeah. no, you've got to like, be kidding me. Just, you've got to just push through the pain, man. But, like, if I'm sitting there, like, and I can't even stop myself from sobbing out loud, like, that's a really bad... Because normally I can at least keep it quiet. But, like, I couldn't even keep it quiet. Like, that's... That's a bad place to be in in general, much less if I'm trying to, like, do stuff, like, work-wise. Like, mm -hmm. it's... Yeah. And I was just like, oh my god. But actually, kind of, it's interesting because, like, I, I feel bad saying this, but, like, as he's been doing, he, you know, said, like, oh, you know, I have to push through this and mentally figure out physically and all this other stuff, right? But as he's been doing this other job more and more, he's gotten grumpier. I've seen him <laughs> here as the nights go on because he's just not being as rested or whatever. Because he has to do, like, you know, like, so many hours per week. And, and I was kind of like... Haha. <laughs> like, I'm kind of right, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I respect the fact if you want to give yourself the bootstraps talk and try to push through it and, like, you know... Oh shit! Wrong, wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. <laughs> the Wiggler um, was slowly marching towards Luigi. Like, you know, if that's if that's how if that's like the point where you are in your life right now, where you're kind of like, okay, no more bullshit. I need to start buckling down and making some money so I can do some other things. You know, like that's cool. If you've gotten past most of your depression stuff, because he's like, I've dealt with the depression stuff too, but I'm past it now. Yeah. Okay. Cool, Great. good for you, I'm not. Like But also it's like so assuming everyone deals with of... sorry, right. you go you finish. <laughs> like my, I just wanna string a couple of weeks together where I'm not so sad and tired all the time. Like that's what I would like to do. That is my immediate goal. Like it it's not yours. But it's mine. And yeah, I should have been dealing with this shit. 10 years ago, whatever, but I'm not. I'm dealing with it now. Yeah. And also, assuming everyone deals with depression the same way you, you did, and like, assuming well, I didn't have a problem with it so they shouldn't have a problem with it. Everyone's different. You can't assume everyone can do the same things you can do. Right. You know? But the final point about that is uh, what I was saying about these feelings jams, Mario time sessions, is that Initially, I thought it was just, like, you know, flimsy kind of thing, but I do feel like now it's more than that. You know, maybe it's, yeah. it isn't, like, concrete or anything, but, like, I do feel it's better than duct tape because it's helping me, like, be able to express it in a safe environment and work through the feelings. Right. You know, and also having, like, validation and all those things, you know? Right, and even though, it's funny though, because even though, like, we're, we are, like, very similar, we still have, like, slightly different perspectives on things, where it's like, oh, I didn't think of it that mm. way, or, like, I don't know if you still do that, I still do that, or it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't quite see this angle on it, you Yeah. Know? Well, it's hard to see it when you're right dab in the middle of it, you know? Right. <laughs> Whereas, like, I'm looking at your TA stuff and just being like... Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really bullshit, so... Oh, yeah. It sounds like bullshit. But, like, I, I ran out of anxiety points long ago at this point, so I'm just like, <sighs> whatever. If he fails us, or we get a B, and we're gonna end up getting kicked out, it's... 
we're gonna have, we're probably gonna talk to our advisors about it because the quality of work we're putting out isn't that level of quality. Right. And I got a 4.0. I would know. Right. I know what constitutes an A. Right. Fuck y'all. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a 4.0 through undergrad too, right? No, actually. Oh. Because undergrad wants you to be well-rounded. So oh, yeah. So you have to take those quote-unquote, like, easy A classes that I could never focus in. <laughs> and I got C's. Gotcha. So, like, and then, like, the intro classes I wouldn't do as well in. And they want you to be well-rounded, so, like, I had to take stuff that I just was not interested in at all. So I got, like, a 3.4 in undergrad. Hey! Yeah, 3.4, and it was, like, 3.6 if we did major only. I don't know. I need to figure out my major only GPAs. And yeah. I say plural since I got two degrees, but... <laughs> I think I think my music I think my broadcast major only GPA is actually pretty good, mm -hmm. and uh, I know when I went back to broadcast like the like the trade school. What the fuck? <laughs> when well, I know when I went back to broadcast trade, We're almost school, out of time anyway. I left so. there with like a three point seven. Nice. And I'm pretty sure my broadcast major from my undergrad would be really good, but I don't think my music one would be really good just because music history exists. Yeah. And music so, like, history is evil, so... Yeah, I had to take, like, uh, women's studies, and I got a C in it because it was an easy A class, and I just couldn't. But then I got, like, an A in special relativity. So... Whatever. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, so... I, I mean, like... Yeah. I mean, like, there was... Like, like there was like a easy, super easy math class most of the music majors took, and uh, I was like, "No, that's too easy." And my and my pro, or my advisor at the time was like, "Do you want to take calculus?" I'm like, "No, I don't." He's like, "Here's this in between class." I'm like, "Okay," and I still like aced the shit out of it hmm. because like it's math, it's easy except calculus, and that's not easy. But it was like it was. I'm, I, you know I've been I hate this part. I, I don't know the pattern to this. You yeah. know I've been talking okay. for years about business statistics class, right? This is not new news to you that I've been wanting to take on for a while, right? Yeah. I think. So, <laughs> so then with, like, my boss going back to school, because this is what he said to me in this talk, too. He said, you know, you've gone to school a lot, but you're just getting into the workforce. I've been in the workforce all my life, but now I'm deciding to go back to school for, like, business stuff, right? And he's like, I'm really scared. No, Yoshi, no! Let him go. Let him go. Just... <sighs> You know, he's like, I'm really scared about what, you know, needing to go back to school and all that because I've never done that stuff. And he was like, you have a master's, right? I'm like, eh, no, but I'm not going to stop him if he wants to think I do. So, <laughs> but like, you know, he was like, I understand this is a big deal for you. And like when he said that, it was kind of like, OK, yeah, it is a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It is. Yep. Like, that's yeah. it. Like, that's, that's... That's, that's all that it. matters, really. Yeah, that should be... In a way, that's kind of case closed right there. Like, yep. that's kind of... If, if I wasn't totally 100... If I wasn't totally behind, mostly behind my decision, like, that comment kind of helped me push it in the right direction. Yeah. Because it was like... And I know I've done I've done the college stuff and I know if it's stuff I like and stuff I enjoy that I can actually like I can actually do more stuff. If it's stuff I enjoy and stuff I find easy. But if it's stuff I find hard on top of stuff I find hard, then I I crash, you know? And mm -hmm. All right, we're at about 25 minutes. So Final thoughts. Final uh, thoughts. That TA is a jackass. <laughs> uh, I just need to stand by my decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, any final thoughts from your end? Not really. 
Um, I think if I ever get back to that area again with Yoshi, I'm gonna make a save state. (laughs) (laughs) What do you think? I think that's a good idea at this point, because I'm tired of this level. So we did about five videos today on this, and I know the past two sessions were also on this stage. Do you think maybe we should try to beat it off screen with save states? Yeah, that might be it. I think so too. Okay. Well, we'll mainly do it off screen. I think we'll record the ending. Yeah. Like, so- we'll get to the that point, and then we'll make a save state, and then we'll record our attempts from there. Yeah. And cut out the loading the save state, which takes about, like, 30 seconds each time. Right. I'm sorry, we tried. We did try. We got really fucking close, too. Yeah. But... <sighs> I've gotten close so many times, I just... I'm so done with this level, dude. Yeah. (sighs) We'll see how we feel next week, but I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, (laughs) pretty much. We beat the game! We beat Bowser! What more do you want from (laughs) us? Well, hopefully this will spark some really interesting discussions, maybe, in the comments, or, you know, thoughts. Yeah, hopefully. In your own life, of, like, standing behind, you know, whatever, so. Yep. I just moved aside so we could both dance. Okay, gotcha. Good timing. Mm-hmm. Look at him dance. Alright. Alright, it was... I, I, even though we didn't make any progress, I feel like it was a really good talk session, so. I do, too. So, lots of progress made I- emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Yep. So, we'll see you guys later. Hopefully, that- after we beat Outrageous. This yeah. is outrageous, really. It is outrageous. Yeah. So, so outrageous. Alright, thanks for sticking around. And <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, it'll be uh, next week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have nothing happening next week. So, we'll see. School's ending in a week and a half, so we'll see how that goes. Gotcha. Uh, We'll see. Alright, take care, everyone. Bye! Okay, there you go. Usually eat that guy, but you can probably just stand on I it. Know. So next is the hammer bro with the bullet bill. This part isn't that bad though. Not really. Oh. Well, <laughs> until you like fuck it up and then. Oh my god! What the? Yoshi no! Okay. 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 Pause. B. Okay. Now. So stay on top. Stay up, stay up. No, the fire. That's where I always y- lose Yoshi. Okay. Yeah, I usually stay on top and right. then land on the blue pipe. Okay. Then usually jump off the wiggler or that. Okay, okay, pause. I don't have a suggestion for here. I suggest not doing that. <laughs> I, I suggest maybe not doing that. <gasps> oh man, that's funny. Okay. I'm gonna leave that in, by the way. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course you would. What about standing on the first bullet bill? No! Um, oh, pause! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, go! Pause! Oh god! Okay, if I fuck this up... That's just sad. Okay. Save. Yes. Open. Yes. That's stupid. Why did I do that? But save and save and send it back. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's on its back swing, so you gotta wait until it comes okay. back around. Okay. Make sure you have run held down. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! I was so close so many times. (coughs) 
Okay. All right. Good job, team. <laughs> that that's all we are. That's all we are doing for this week. I'm just gonna tack this on to the uh, other video. Yeah, that's. We don't even have to watch your life, Brian, because we've literally run out of things to talk about. But... Yeah, but okay, <laughs> we are moving on because <sighs> fuck that. <laughs> All right, take care, everyone. See ya.